Hey, I was asked by a few followers, uh, how do I cook a ribeye steak inside the house and have it turning out the way that I do? So here's a little tutorial video for people that likes to eat steaks, steaks as much as I do. So I'm gonna show you what I put on my steak and it's very simple. Uh, I took this steak out the freezer this morning, which every time I buy a steak, I separate them. I wash them good, I separate them. I put them in a Ziploc bag. And so when I pull it out, shazam. But I done seasoned this side already. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side and show y'all how, how I done it and what I do. So that side's done. So I'm gonna flip it over. So nothing going on but I put a little olive oil on it. So if some of y'all are not familiar with olive oil, you can get it in Walmart, any grocery store. That's what I use right there. So I just put like a, like a little drop by big as a dime and I massage the steak real good. You know what I'm saying? With the, with the uh, olive oil. Then I come back. Now for you people that's watching salt, you don't have to use salt. That's that's your preference. But me, I like a little salt, so I just put a little salt on top like that. Then I rub it in, of course. Then I come back with a little pepper. Bam, 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 bam. Got the pepper in there. Alright, now here's the one here's here's what I think makes my steaks taste so good. Is this right here? Grill made steak season. So I'll take that and sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Mm. La 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 la. You can get carried away if you want to because this stuff is not salty. You can add as much as you want and it's not going to change the taste. It just give it a more of a flavor. And what I'd like to do, I like to just sprinkle some on the side. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So I, I'll pick my steak up. I'm trying to do this with one hand, but normally I have two. And I'll just, the edge of the steak. And I'll just flip it over. And I'll do that again. But like the little pieces around the edge that's not seasoned, trust me, you won't even taste it. You won't even notice that it's not seasoned. So here is the trick. What a lot of people don't know. I'm going to let this steak sit here for probably an hour. It is 8.33. About 9.30. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come cook this steak. And I will show you how I'm going to cook it once 9.30 gets here. But I'm gonna let it sit right here on the counter. I'm gonna take a paper towel and cover it up. And uh, we'll come back and show you the preps on getting this bad boy cooked. And this is gonna be my lunch for tomorrow. I'm gonna heat it in the microwave and everything. And I do it all the time. And like, some people, some people might say, you put a steak in the microwave the next day, you dry it out. Not my steaks, never. But I'll be right back. All right, so I decided to throw another little video in showing y'all how to do like red potatoes. So like I said, this is the meal for tomorrow. I'm gonna cut my red potatoes in four slices. And I got my water boiling on the stove and I'm gonna add my seasonings to my water. And then I'm gonna drop these in there and let them cook until they get soft. And then I'm gonna smash them all together and add a lot of different green spices to them, like green onions, parsley, oregano, stuff like that to them. So that's that. So I got my potatoes cut up and my water is boiling. So, so what we want to do to that water is this is my best friend, I'm sorry. 
You want to put just the drop in there. And it's another thing I like to do, I'll show you here in a minute. Garlic powder. I just take and just throw that around in there. I normally put butter in there, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait till the potatoes get done. And before I smash them, I'm gonna add my butter and all my, my other seasonings. But, so all the thing you do then is just drop them in. I just want one serving. I mean, that might be too many potatoes, but I just want a, enough for one meal tomorrow. Like I said, I don't eat but two meals a day. I eat breakfast and I eat lunch. And after that, I just have a protein shake at night. So that's my three meals, that's all I eat. So we're gonna let those boil probably about maybe an hour. And I'm gonna take a fork or even my knife and just kind of stick to see if they like ready to be drained, seasoned, and smashed up. And I'm leaving the red hose on. It's healthy for you. Hey, I don't want to leave these out right here. These are frozen broccoli. Um, actually, these came in a one bag where you can kind of stick the whole bag in the microwave and steam them put your salt and pepper on them and uh on your way so i didn't want to cook the whole bag so i divided the bag up and put the rest in here so what i'm gonna do with these i'm just gonna steam them on top of the stove and we will get to that i'll show you how i'm gonna do that too i normally eat my uh, my broccoli plain with just a little pepper and just a pinch of salt and i do sometimes eat them with uh cheese I'll eat the cheese, matter of fact. I don't know if I'm gonna put some on them or not, but we'll see once we get to that. These are already done. So what we'll do here, just like that. Let all the water drain off of them. So low heat. I'm just going to start with that. So, the only thing I have here is chopped shots, parsley, sour cream, paprika, and some sharp cheese. And of course, a little salt and pepper. Again, because I basically rinsed it off. That's what we're looking like. Dump them in there. Salt. Pepper. Come back with a little of that garlic powder. Like I said, you can put as much of this on as you like. You ain't gonna, it ain't gonna mess nothing up. This is parsley. Then our shives. Just 
mess them up. So they look a little dry, so when you put your sour cream and your uh, cheese in there, it's gonna bring them to life. If you want to, you can add a little almond milk to it, but I don't do that. I have sour cream. So like, we'll put like three teaspoons in there. Cheese. Oh man. Then you just stir, stir, stir. I need my other hand, but I'm just trying to show y'all like the measure pretty much. Alright, like I said, I had to stir it, so. And I'm just gonna come back and add a little more green onion, green chives. See what it looks like. That's more than a serving, that's more than I'm gonna eat, but oh well. So we're done with that. Okay, so I got my broccoli and I was just thinking like, I'm, I don't want all this. So this is one, I don't know, maybe one cup. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna fill this up. I'm gonna fill this up right here. And I'm gonna show y'all a quick way to cook it. Well, hang on a second. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fill this this uh this up. This is probably all I'm gonna eat tomorrow in one day. Well, it ain't much left. Well, I guess I'll make myself eat the whole thing. Ain't no sense in freezing the rest of it. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do. Cause honestly, I don't feel like boiling this. Cause what's gonna happen when I boil it, it's gonna have too much water in it and it's gonna be soggy and I don't like soggy broccoli. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little salt on it and a little pepper. And I'm gonna put this bad boy in the microwave just like that right there. No lid, just put it in the microwave for about I don't know, anywhere between two to five minutes, just so they can kind of just cook and throw and throw out. And then I'm gonna show you something else after I do that. All right, first off, if you still with me watching this video, and if you done found out that this video has, has actually helped you in some type of way, go ahead and uh, drop a comment. Hit that little love heart and show me that uh, you appreciate me for showing you this. Okay, so here's my broccoli. I let it went like two minutes in the microwave just to kind of get it thawed out. So this is what I'm gonna do. I got these little cheese sauce packs from Bevita. I already cracked one open. So the only thing I'm gonna do is just let the love spread. You know what I'm saying? Let the love spread. I can either do one or two things. I can just put it in the fridge just like this. And uh, not even worry about heating it up until tomorrow. Or I can heat it up now. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna let it sit just like that right there. Yep. And like I said, when I get to 
ready to eat. Only thing I do is just pop this bad boy in the microwave. And I got some cheese broccoli with salt and pepper. You know what I'm saying? But like another thing you probably could do if you like butter on your broccoli, you could put some butter in the bottom and then put the broccoli on top. But I didn't want to put the butter in there because I feel like the butter would make it actually a little watery. Like I said, I want I want it dry as much as possible. So like tomorrow when I warm it up, you know, maybe a minute, a minute and a half at the most. Just enough to melt that. So I'm done with that. So I'm gonna cap it off and just put it to the side. On to the next. I'm finna get ready to show y'all how I cook this steak, so stay tuned. Alright, so here we go. Here's the secret right here. A cast iron grill pan. If you ain't got one of these in your house, you need to go get one, you know what I'm saying? But I left this out. The main reason for letting this steak sit for an hour, I want the steak to get room temperature. And still it's not it's not room temperature. It's still it's still cool. So it probably needed another hour to set out. So like you let this bad boy heat up and like I don't know. This is how I do it. I put my hand in here and just tell you how hot it is. I get it so hot till it's smoking. I know you probably can see the smoke, but that's just how I do it. So once it once it heats up real, real good. I'm gonna put the steak on and I'm gonna cover it for 10, 10 minutes, no longer than 15 minutes on one side, adjusting the heat. So yeah, it's hot. But I'm not gonna take y'all through the whole process of why this steak is cooking. I'm just gonna show you when I drop it on here and when I cover it up, and then I'll let you see like the finishing results from there. I think it's hot enough. I'm gonna smoke the house up, but like I said, I had to. Turn my fan on. All right, we're gonna put it on there. Booyah! So that's it. There have been times when it's sheer, it's steer up a whole lot louder than that, but I don't want to catch the stove on fire while I'm doing the video, and y'all be laughing at my ass. <laughs> Sorry, so I'm gonna put the top on it. And it's not completely sealed off, so it is breathing on four corners. So I'm gonna let it cook at high temperature for a while. And then I'm gonna adjust the heat and I'm gonna adjust the heat. But like I say, I'm not gonna let it cook no longer than 945 on one side. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. So I'm, I'm ready to turn it. But first I'm gonna adjust the heat up. Cause when I flip it, I wanna see the other side. And it's actually a uh, subject for some of the season to kind of actually try to burn, but, but you can see the results of that, how that looks. So we're going to do 10 minutes on this side. We're going to take the top and we're going to cover it. So we're going to let the heat stay up for probably two minutes. And then we're going to start dropping it. Because we're only going to leave it on here for 950 and then we're going to take it off. And then we're done. We're gonna finish letting it cook on the board. A lot of people might didn't know, but a steak cooks when it's cooling. So I like I said, I like my steaks medium well, but I'm gonna cook it medium rare. So when I warm it up tomorrow, it'll actually finish cooking just right to my to my taste and to my texture. So that's the key why my steaks are not dried out the next day. Cause I don't all the way fully cook it the night before. So like I said, we're gonna let it cook till 950. We got one more minute, we're gonna leave it up. We're gonna drop the heat to about two. And then, like I said, we're ready to take off. Okay, so 950. Like I said, I just slow rolled the, the heat. We're gonna... Ah! There she is, perfectly cooked steak. 10 minutes on each side. You know, like I said, adjusting the heat. Hey, real talk, like I said, I cook a whole lot of steaks in the summertime on the grill if 
a lot of my old followers know, like I always used to post food porn when I was barbecuing on the su during the summer. So, but since winter, I've been cooking. Well, since like uh, September, October, I've been cooking steaks in the house. And honestly, I think even during the summertime, if I cook chicken or anything else on the grill, my steaks are gonna be cooked right there. Real talk, I mean, they just taste better. You know what I'm saying? They're more juicy and everything. So like I say, if you're still watching this video and you did find it helpful, and if you're gonna take your butt and find you a cast iron skillet, you better drop a comment or show me some love for this video. Cause like I said, I didn't have to show y'all this. Some of y'all probably already knew it, but some of y'all still in the dark on it. But now you're in the light. So thank Hobby 601 for this uh, video tutorial on cooking. So like I said, this is my lunch for tomorrow. And I'm going to put it in a little bowl right here. And uh, I'm gonna have my feast tomorrow when it's time to eat. So thanks for watching. Uh, I would cut it open, but the only thing that's gonna do is make me want to taste it. But I already basically know what it looks like inside because I've done this probably, I don't know, just between, like I said, uh, September, probably 50 times I done cooked two steaks a week, just like this right here. Two ribeye steaks a week, that's what I had, that's what I have to have, two a week. So like I said, if, it, if, if this was helpful, smash that heart, leave a comment, and, and I might do some more videos on, on how to cook certain stuff. So just show me some love.